Hi, I'm Tie-Dye Man and I'm in my kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to make some enchiladas and some salsa. Here's my ingredients. Some leftover barbecued steak, tortillas, onion, jack and cheddar cheese, some olives, and some enchilada sauce. First thing I'm gonna do is chop my onions. I'm gonna dice them actually into sections about a half inch square. I got a half an onion here. Okay, I'm gonna saute my onions in a non-stick pan with a little bit of canola oil. While I'm waiting for my onions to heat up, I'm gonna chop the olives. Okay, those onions look good. I'm gonna throw those in the bowl. All right, now I'm gonna put my olives in there with the onions. Next, I'll chop up some steak. This is barbecued tri-tip. Get out of there. I'm a camera guy. I'm gonna chop your fingers off. Now I'm gonna add my meat to the bowl of ingredients. And I'm gonna stir the onion and olive and meat mixture all together. Now I'm gonna take my tortillas lay them out on a plate, then I'm going to microwave them for a minute, flip them over, microwave them a little bit more, and this makes them nice and warm and soft so they don't crack when you try to put the enchiladas together. Now I'm flipping these tortillas so that part that was on the inside is now on the outside. And for assembly, we grab a spoon of enchilada sauce, put it all over the inside of your tortilla, and then you get some of your meat and onions and olive mixture. some cheese then you roll it all up hippies are really good at rolling put some sauce on top of it once you have all your enchiladas in the pan Captain Kirk you can put cheese on them over the top. Come! Come! Oh, that makes them look so good, huh? And they're not even cooked yet. And then, Kirk, my friend, you must put them in the oven at 325 degrees. I've got my ingredients for salsa here. Fresh tomatoes, green onions, cilantro, garlic, habanero pepper. And then I've got some oregano and some salt. First thing I'm gonna do is roast my garlic in my habanero pepper. And what I'm gonna do is jam some of this garlic on a fork and take it over to my gas stove. I'm just gonna stick this garlic right in the flame. And I'm gonna turn it a little bit. It's gonna get nice and black on the outside. After you roast the garlic, you're gonna stick it into, under the water like this and cool that fork off. You don't wanna burn your fingers. Now take that black part and kind of scrub that off of there. Same thing with the habanero. I'm gonna fire roast it right on those flames. Okay, that looks roasted enough. 
Now I'm gonna uh, do the same thing with this, um, but I'm not gonna touch it when I uh, wash the black part off of it because you don't wanna touch this and get it on your fingers. If you, this is like one of the world's hottest peppers and if you touch this and get it on your fingers and then you touch your eye later, oh, you're gonna be sorry. Okay, to get the skin off this without touching it, I got a little trick. I put it on a plate and I run it under the water and then I take the knife Break the skin off of there. Now I'm going to chop my ingredients. And I'm going to put them in a food processor. If you want, you can chop everything all by hand, but I use a food processor because it makes things a little bit easier. It gets the salsa to the consistency I like better too. Once again, I gotta say, while you're chopping your habanero, you wanna make sure you don't touch it with your fingers. Just keep your hand up on the top of the knife there. This baby's really hot, so you wanna try to chop it in really fine pieces if you can. Just you don't mind getting a bite that's gonna scorch your mouth. I don't want my green onions all chopped up into little tiny pieces in the food processor. So I'm gonna put them right in our bowl. And I'll put the salsa in that and mix it up afterwards. Put a little bit of oregano in there. And some salt. Now we got everything in our food processor except the green onions. Now we mix those green onions in. And it's salsa. Now I'm gonna make some guacamole. Got some avocados here. I've left a little bit of my salsa in the food processor. And I'm just gonna cut the avocados up in the food processor. And I'm gonna slice my thumb really bad. No, just kidding. Now I got my avocados in there and a little bit of salsa. I'm going to add just a dash of garlic powder and a little bit of salt. Bam, it's guacamole. And now my enchiladas are done. You can hear them bubbling. <laughs>